What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll teach you this effect that you're seeing, which I like to call the smooth multiplier effect. But without further ado, let's get started. So I am here in my After Effects where I prepared a clip of a girl dancing. And the first thing you want to do to get this effect started is to double click your composition to go into layer mode. Next up, I'm going to select the rotor brush tool by pressing Alt W. You can also select it up here. And I will start outlining our subject like so. And the better you get this mask, the better the final product will be. Just going to press H to select this tool called hand tool and zoom in. And then I'm selecting the rotor brush tool again by pressing Alt W and just be sure to get some other stuff as well. If you have masked a little bit too much, you can hold down Alt with the rotor brush tool selected. And this will remove the mask like so. And give me a second, I will just clean up our subject. So I'm happy with this. Next up, you just want to press space and the rotor burst tool will run. And as you can see, it will automatically mask our subject out. Okay, so it is done now, but, but I think it missed a spot here where I would actually like it to also take this part. So I'm just going to this part of the video and just going frame by frame here, making sure that it gets it properly. Just a few frames and it should know what to do. Yeah, I'm happy with that and just let it run again. Okay, all done. Next up, I'm going to go back into composition. And here you can see our subject has been cut out pretty decent. This is fine enough. Next up, I'm going to copy and create a duplicate version of my video just by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And I will remove the rotor brush effect from the bottom mouse clip, like so. And now you can play around with doing this smooth splits. I will just showcase one example live. So I'm going to duplicate this layer or cutout layer. And when she goes forward here, so from around here ish, I think it could be cool to keyframe the position. Let's go forward a few frames, let's say seven frames. And let's shift this one out. Let's leave it be here for a few frames. And let's take it back in again. And let's just select all our keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And if you want to play around with some of the, the masking, maybe you could add some feather up here, or you could enable motion blur or you know, you could play around with it a little bit. You could also apply some effects maybe to the cutout behind. I won't really show these done live, but uh, here's a few examples to some stuff you could do. Play with scale. Play with colors. Add multiple clones. Multiple clones in multiple directions. Offset the multiplier effect. As you can see, the possibilities are almost endless with this effect. But anyways, if you learned something new or just enjoyed my tutorial, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.